Hi there, this is Connor Anderson for CDW BizTech Magazine. Today we're looking at the Unified Threat Management products from FortiGate. Um, what we're looking at right now is the login screen and the main screen for the uh, FortiGate 300A unit, uh, which is an online demo that FortiGate offers. Um, one, of the, one of the stronger suits of the FortiGate line is that from the smallest unit for the Soho, the 30B, all the way up to the 5000 chassis series for telcos, they all run the same OS and the same UI. The fact that unified threat management devices are doing so much, they're designed to allow us to uh, run our uh, little empires, be they large or small, uh, completely from one unit, uh, means that they're asking to do an awful lot and therefore uh, they're quite complex and this has led to some uh, some serious sins against the uh, design interface gods over the years and one of the strengths of uh, FortiGate is that they've got a very clean attractive and usable web interface the front side gives you some basic overview of the systems uh, operational status uh, good serial numbers uptime uh, some message alerts the uh, sort of a graphical representation of the unit. Mousing over each port will give you uh, the port's uh, activity level, whether it's up or not, and it's IP addressing. And then the, uh, the, the configuration of attached devices. A FORTA analyzer is an SNMP trap device, which allows you to do comprehensive logging for the FORTA gates. If you don't have a FORTA analyzer or some other SNMP device, you're not really going to be able to pull uh, really granular logs from your FORTA gate about usage. A FORTA manager is basically a central configuration uh, repository and management utility for uh, networks that run multiple FORTA gates. Our licensing information about the various subscription-based services that really make a FortiGate go, uh, some overview statistics of what's going on on the unit, and then there is a little CLI login right here at the graphical interface. Now, since this is our online demo, if we click here, it's going to tell us that there's too many people trying to use it. It's not going to let us log in. But this is really nice uh, if you're trying to do some basic troubleshooting on the unit, um, trace routes, pings, and so forth. Underneath the status is the network tab, which gives us the configuration of the various ports on the FortiGate unit. Obviously, all of our uh, main FortiGate configuration tables are laid out like this. Uh, here's our administrative status and the link status. You can see that only this external link is up. And then the edit button is over here on the far right, which we can view and edit the link status of this port and uh, assign its attributes. Uh, most uh, FortiGates allow you to do uh, a DHCP server on them as well. When setting up your first uh, couple of interfaces, especially if they're wide area network interfaces, where you set up your default gateway is under router static right here. This is where your default gateway for your uh, WAN port is going to go, right there. Uh, on any big firewall or traffic shaping device, uh, most of the heavy lifting of the unit is done in the policy area. And as you can see, if you click here, you will see the usual uh, source port, destination port, and rules applied to traffic flowing in that direction hierarchy. On any other unit, uh, just as in this one, these are applied from the top down in that order, not a numerical order. So you see, here's our uh, traffic flowing from port 1 to port net 2, our source ports, our destination ports, a schedule that allows the traffic services, in this case any, and then the protection profile that is applied to traffic flowing through that rule. Clicking here allows us to edit it. And again, source, destination, our schedule, the services, again we're allowing any, but you can see that most of the common uh, TCP, IP, and, and uh, UDP services are already plugged in for us. The exception, you know, accept, deny, or apply to a VPN from whether or not it's natted, whether to apply a protection profile or not. Our address objects, which are predefined, okay, these can be either individual IPs or subnets. Here we see an individual IP address, okay, that we're allowing traffic to be acted upon. And here we see a uh, class C subnet. Okay. Protection profiles. This is where we set up 
how we're going to look at traffic, what traffic we're going to allow or deny through a particular rule. The first thing that I do when I come in to uh, set up a new FortiGate unit is to evaluate, based on my customer, this oversized file and email setting. By default on a FortiGate, it is set to only examine the first 10 megabytes of any file or email, and if it exceeds that threshold, it will pass it through. So you are going to want to evaluate based on your client whether or not you're going to want to pass or block. You can take this up to 50 megabytes. However, for performance reasons, that is as high as it goes, and then you are going to need to decide whether you are going to pass or block that traffic. Uh, if, you are pa if you are using a network with higher than 50 megabytes on a regular basis, you're going to want to set up a rule for the particular protocol that is passing that traffic and make that particular protocol an unscanned with no protection profile applied to it. That will pass any size file. The web filtering comes, uh, and with most of the FortiGates, you can do this by uh, a regular expression and keyword, or you can use the built-in subscription service uh, for the filtering. The web filtering, you enable the FortiGuard web filtering here and here on the HTTP and the uh, HTTPS. FortiGate gives you a pre-populated number of categories, which you can look at the numerous subcategories. And that is as far as it goes. There is not much transparency with regard to this. What you see is pretty much what you get. So you either allow or you block traffic based on those keywords. You can block and log, and you can block, log, and allow user overrides. User overrides are set up in the user uh, configuration panel. People can override that for particular items. Spam filtering. Again, uh, FortiGate provides a subscription-based spam filtering service, the FortiGuard Anti-Spam. You turn it on for each protocol, and then you turn on also the various uh, types of checks for spam based on IP, based on URL, checksum, uh, DNS, uh, reverse DNS lookup, and so forth. You can also set up your own keyword and regular expression rules as well. Uh, the intrusion prevention protocols are either on or off uh, based on IPS settings that are predefined. Uh, you can also regulate your internet messaging and peer-to-peer -peer file sharing turned on for each protocol. You can block the login and also block non-standard ports on those. Since this is a stateful and pa packet inspection router, it will look for the traffic types uh, on non-standard ports. And again, for peer-to-peer uh, -peer file sharing, you can choose to pass it, block it, or rate limit it.